everybody, thank you so much for clicking my video to watch. Hey guys, so I just want to pause this video really quick and say that I hope you are all well and staying safe. This was not supposed to be the video I was posting today. I was supposed to do a different video that I had pre-filmed a whole intro to, kind of talking about everything, giving you guys an update on what's been happening in my life. And I kind of talked to you guys on Instagram as well. Not sure if I would want to be posting a bunch, but I got a really good response from you guys saying that you want to see videos from me and that's what I want to be doing. So yes, I hope you are all safe and well and let's continue on with the video. For today's video, I am doing this spring makeup tutorial, but it's all going to be drugstore makeup. Nice and affordable. I haven't done an all drugstore makeup tutorial in a while, so I thought that it was due. <laughs> so before we hop on into the video, please don't forget to subscribe. Click that little bell beside that subscribe button. That way you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. Also be sure to like this video if you enjoy it. And if you'd like to know how I got this look, then please just keep watching. So I actually already have my eyebrows done because it's the only eyebrow products I have right now. A couple of benefit ones. So my eyebrows are the only thing that will be non-drugstore for the tutorial. I'm gonna start off with foundation. This is one of my all-time favorite foundations. I've used it for years now. It's one of the first foundations I actually ever used when I started to use foundation. So this is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I'm sure a lot of us are familiar with this guy. And I'm in the shade 125. It comes out really fast, so sometimes I pour out a little bit too much. And I'm just using the Smashbox stippling brush. Blend it out. It's one of my favorite brushes ever. Just make sure everything is seamless. I'm gonna go in with my sponge and just even everything out. Another one of my favorites, this is the CoverGirl Undercover Concealer in the shade T300. I like to use it to contour. I also like to blend this out with a stippling brush. This one is the Luxie 516 Dual Fiber Brush. Time for concealer. I have been using this concealer from e.l.f. Everybody has been talking about it for weeks now. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I finally found it at one of my local grocery stores and I got the shade medium sand. I picked it up right when I saw it. Everyone says it's a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which I've actually never tried, but I really love this concealer. And this I'm going to blend out with my sponge. The powder I'm going to use is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. This one is in the shade Banana. They have three shades, I believe. I'm just going to take the other side of my sponge. This is what I always do with my powder. And start pressing it into the skin where I put down my concealer. Set it. The bronzer I'm going to use is in this palette that I have. I'm not sure if they're still selling this palette. It's the Physicians Formula times Casey Holmes butter collection, but if they aren't selling full palette, they still do sell the bronzer I'm gonna use individually. So this one is the butter bronzer in the shade Deep Bronze. I do have the original too, but I love this shade. I totally forgot that I want to use the Maybelline Cheek Heat blushes, but I've already put on all of my powder, so now I can't do that, otherwise it is going to be patchy and not blend out well. So I think I'm going to go into this. This is the Lottie London Blush Crush and I actually don't think I've used it yet. I've just swatched it. So this one is in the shade Drake. Cute. Start off with a little bit because I don't know how pigmented this blush is. Oh. It's really nice actually. So they sent me a package in the mail with a bunch of their products and I've heard of Lottie London before, but I didn't realize how affordable they were because they sent over a little pamphlet too with all of the pricing. So I'm pretty positive that this blush was only $5.99, so that definitely falls into the drugstore category. I'm about to use some Catrice products in this video because it's not a drugstore tutorial without Catrice. Catrice is one of the best drugstore brands ever and one of the most affordable. So this one is from the Catrice Times Iman collection. It's the highlighter palette. And I'm gonna use the shade Surrey in it right here. Now that I have all this time at home, it is time for me to stop procrastinating and wash my makeup brushes because they are long overdue. One of my least favorite jobs to do. It makes my hands super dry because of the water, but it must be done. So spring reminds me of peachy, peachy pink, light makeup looks. So I feel like I want to go more in the peach direction. I'm not sure exactly 
what I'm gonna do, but let's start out with the crease shade. I'm gonna go into my ColourPop Soul palette, and I know ColourPop's not technically drugstore. They're just as affordable as most drugstore brands, if not even more affordable, so I think it's fair to use them in this tutorial. I'm gonna go into the shade New Digs and use this as my crease shade just to start off with. So what are you guys taking advantage of with all of this time right now? I know for me, I'm getting tons of extra cleaning done, extra filming, which I'm very, very excited about actually. More cooking and baking, I would say. Okay, now I'm gonna grab the shade called Dynamite, and I'm gonna focus some more on the outer part of my crease and kind of flick it out. I'm gonna grab the shade Anthem right here with my finger and just start pressing it onto my lid. I don't really want this to show up too, too much. I'm gonna put a different shade on top of it, but this one kind of has the peachy, glittery reflex in it, so I want a little bit of this shade. I'm gonna jump into this palette. This is one of Catrice's new palettes, Basic Bay, and I'm going to take this shade called Hashtag Goals right here and spray my brush first. And I'll just add it right over top of the other shade I put down. And for the inner corner, I'm going to go back to the highlighter I used on my face. And just pop this into the inner corners of my eyes. I'm a little bit of a wing, but nothing too intense. So I'm going to use an eyeshadow to do a little winged liner. And I'm going to take the shade MCM right here in the palette. I kind of lift it a little bit higher than I normally do. I really should have been zoomed in this whole time I've been doing my eyes. Sorry. I kind of just raise it a little bit higher than normal and smoke it out. Can't forget about the lower lash line, so I'm gonna go back into the ColourPop palette and take the shade Dynamite and New Digs again and run those across my lower lash line. Okay, before I put on any mascara, I'm gonna set my face and I'm going to use the Maybelline Lasting Fix setting spray. I'm gonna use the ColourPop BFF mascara to coat my lashes. And then I'm gonna put on the Ardell 105 Glamour Lashes. They are still my all-time favorite lashes. I've been using those for years and I haven't found any that I like better than those. Okay, so I just filled in my upper waterline with the Pixie Endless Silky Pen. Now I'm gonna move on to lips. I'm not sure what lip liner I wanna use yet. I'm thinking maybe this one. This one is from NYX and it is in the shade Free Spirit. Wondering if I just fill in the rest of my lips with this shade. Actually, I'm gonna grab this lipstick. It is from Kiss New York and it is in the shade 05. This is the nice peachy shade. And just to make them a little bit glossy, I'm gonna use this Pixi Lip, lip Lift Max. It's a glossy lip plumper and I haven't used it yet. Ooh, this is really, really pretty packaging. I think it's actually just clear, which is perfect. Okay guys, well that is it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I have all of this time to film. So hopefully I'll actually be able to be posting more than one video a week. But we will see. So please don't forget to subscribe for your leave, like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!